Hello, thank you for joining me. Okay, we're going to continue on with our dynamic block here with our door. The problem with the door is it exists right now is it's uh, not really quite the width of our wall. It doesn't give us a lot of options for that. So we're going to go ahead and make modifications to it and uh, give us those options. So what we have here with this wall, and we haven't dimensioned this yet, so let's go ahead and do that. We want to provide a dimension, one dimension for our exterior wall. And our exterior wall here, as we're going to go over in class, is 7 and 8 inch. And our interior wall is going to be 4 and a half inches. These are kind of typical measurements. 4 and a half inches is uh, 3 and a half inch for the 2 by 4 plus a half an inch of drywall on either side, which is 4 and a half inches. And our exterior wall is a 5 and a half inch uh, stud in the middle of the wall. And uh, on uh, one side is going to be drywall, which adds a half an inch to that, which is 6 inches. Then we have an inch and an eighth in regard to sheathing and siding on the other side. So that adds up to seven and eighth inches. So we're going to keep those two values in mind, and we're going to go ahead and change uh, the, some of these parameters in our doors in order to accommodate that. Because uh, you don't want the door to be shorter than the wall, nor do you want to have the lines of the door kind of stick out of the wall because it looks bad either way, and we want things to look good. So let's go ahead and double click on this. Unlike our block that we had as our title block, if we double click on this, it allows us to get it in the block editor. And yes, we want to edit the door imperial, and away we go. So what we want, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It looks like dimensions and grips and other things. These are actually fairly straightforward once you get used to doing dynamic blocks. And uh, that will be covered in a different film. Uh, some other things we could be doing to this. But the one thing we want to select is the wall thickness. So go ahead and select that as a dimension. Go over here to Properties Palette and uh, what it says down here in the value set for distributed uh, uh, value list. Let's go ahead and click in there. You can see the values that are already in there are the 4, 5, and 6 inch. Those aren't really typical wall dimensions so we're going to put in some real dimensions in here. And we're going to click and add our real values in here. And all you have to do when you click on that is it gives you the add distance value and guess what we're going to add? We're going to add 4.5, 4.5, add 7.125, add. That's all we have to do. Press OK to close it out. Close our block editor up in the upper right hand corner of our uh, ribbon. This is close block editor. And yes, we want to save the changes. Why would we make the changes if we don't want to save them? So now let's take that block and move it back into our exterior wall. And now we can take that stretch grip and stretch it. And yes, it goes to the outside wall. We want to take this and mirror it to the other side so we have a double front door. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I left clicked and mouse clicked on the button or uh, on, uh, yeah, on the mouse in order to close the, the mirror command. And now let me show you how to trim these things. The nice thing about this, about these blocks, is it gives you the ability to trim things because we have line references here. So what we'd like to do is take out the wall that represents uh, that's kind of here in the middle of the door. If you're above the door or below the door, perhaps that wall would be appropriate, but we're going to put like maybe a cut plane right in the middle of uh, those doors, so the wall is going to be a void in there, and we want to get rid of the wall. So this is what we do. We go to the trim button, click in these two as our trim references, and we're not clicking on the whole block, we're just clicking on that specific line within the block. Spacebar or enter, and just click on those two walls and it trims it out. Pretty slick. Let's take this door and move it over. Copy it. Let's put it on this wall over here. Perhaps a wall or a door that's going to go inside of that room. We can flip it by going to the flip uh, block. Go to our align uh, tool over here which turned into just a regular old move uh, grip. And we're going to move that back. So we have a four and a half inch wall now on the inside. So that allows us to trim that up too. And again, go to the trim command. It's like these two lines only as our trim reference. Spacebar. Bang. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Let me show you some other uh, architectural elements that we have over here in our design center. There is a uh, folder over here called Design Center. And if you scroll down, there's one called Home. Look in here to our blocks. Dining room set. Copy machine rocking chair, so on and so forth. They have that in a different layer. You'd probably want to put that in the appropriate layer. Here's another one for house. There's some house blocks. Again, click on blocks. You know, you probably want the things that are appropriate for floor plans, so make sure you do that. A novel sink would be good, maybe a spiral staircase. Uh, toilet, although these are elevation views of the toilet here, 
This is not. You can probably put that in there, so on and so forth. Another one, set of home. There's kitchen, a whole bunch of kitchen stuff going to blocks. And uh, here's a kitchen layout, which has got uh, everything in a nice compact kitchen. Within that kitchen layout are some other things, too, that are uh, individually put in here, too. You might want to grab. So, like the range and oven, it's the same as the other one, I believe, or something very similar to it. Double sink, so on and so forth. So, I think you will find those to be very useful, and thank you for joining me in this film, and we'll see you in class.